Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following today. It is election day, a special election for select communities. The deadline for mail-in ballot requests have passed, but you could still register to vote in person. Just go to your local clerk's office before polls close tonight at 8. They open this morning at 7. And just some of the proposals you can find include school proposals. There's a marijuana ordinance in Port Austin and a few others. You could get the full list on our website. Stick with us tonight and tomorrow morning for results. Attorney Van Johnson expected to highlight a first of its kind ruling by a Michigan judge this morning. Lawsuit filed by a man that the office says now lives with life altering health conditions. That's after he got the COVID-19 medicine contaminated with glass particles. Johnson will discuss the case at a press conference this morning at 1030. The 158th annual Bay County Fair and Youth Expo begins today. There's carnival rides, exotic animals, magic shows, so much more. Admission and parking are free. Grandstand events are $15 for adults, $5 for kids 5 to 11, and anyone younger than 5 can get in for free. We have Matthew striking out a pretty decent forecast for today, Matthew. Yeah, Blake, for your Tuesday, definitely warmer than it was on Monday, eventually up to around 82 for this afternoon. So we're back to more typical weather for this time of year. We'll also have a few pop up showers into the afternoon, just given the heating of the day. Most of this rain to the south of the Tri City, so specifically into our southern row of counties, that's where the greatest chance for pop up showers are today. Those eventually come to an end tonight once we lose the heating of the day. On Wednesday, we're mostly sunny through a lot of the day. It's actually not until the evening on Wednesday. Wednesday, where there is a pop up shower chance, better chance of showers starting to come in later on Wednesday night and into your Thursday morning. We start to clear out by Thursday afternoon, then it's on Friday. We have a low pressure system moving through the Great Lakes. This is the best chance of rain this week, so that'll be starting up late in the afternoon on Friday. Still here through the evening and Friday night. Once we head into your Saturday morning, still some lingering showers, but we are seeing some signs that potentially Saturday afternoon could start to be on the drier side. First alert seven day forecast also has cooler temperatures around that time Friday and Saturday both have a high of 78, but in the meantime, right through the middle of this work week, we'll still see temperatures lower to middle 80s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.